thing. We're in Leeds. We're in Horsforth today. And we are going to discuss a couple of points. <clears throat> Excuse me. Regarding a couple of roundabouts. And we're going to discuss in particular Horsforth. So on your driving test, you will be coming across these roundabouts. I'm going to go into this in great detail so you understand how these roundabouts work. Now, you will see that I'm in lane two, where these merge here. So check your mirrors, signal left, blind spot check, and there is nobody merging with me. Now I cancel my signal. So I'm now following the road ahead. I'm now going to approach Horsforth roundabout. I am going back to the test centre. I am going to do a right turn, third exit. So as I'm approaching, I'm following the, this road ahead. This lane merges. On the right-hand side, you can see the arrows pointing to come into my lane. I check my mirrors. There is nobody on my right. So here, either your examiner or you will be told to turn. Your examiner will tell you either to turn right or your satnav will tell you third exit right. So check your mirrors here. Start coming to the right. Now, check your mirrors. Signal right. Now, look at the layout of the road. Look at how the road bends. So, follow the curve like I am doing. Look to your right. Stop here. It's not safe to go. This white car's coming round. I'm watching the Ranger over. He's coming round. This red car is going ahead. I'm watching this black car turning off. It's now safe for me to come onto the roundabout and I'm maintaining my right signal. So I maintain my signal as I'm going round the roundabout, check my inside mirror, left mirror, signal left, come to the left, check my mirrors and look at this bus and watch people overtaking the bus. Now there was nobody overtaking a bus and it's one of the test fails in the area if you don't see vehicles overtaking. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach the roundabout from a different entrance, as in a different entry point. I'm going to take the first exit left and come back to the test centre. It's important that you understand how Horsforth roundabout works. The reason for that is you will come across this roundabout on your driving test. So I'm now going to take the second road on the left. The first one is here and the second one is Wood Lane. You've noticed that I've signalled you could hear my indicator coming on immediately after the first turn. You will be asked to park here on your driving test. So you'll be asked to park here. I'm going to clean the lens of the camera. I think it's slightly dirty. That's better. So you'll be asked to park here. You will then be asked to move off. So I'm looking. It's safe. Now we can see this car coming down this road. You'd expect it. To let this car come through. So now I'm looking in my right door mirror and I'm moving off. So I'm now going to take the first exit left at the roundabout. So as you go along this road on your driving test, you will be told at the end of the road, turn left. It's a dual carriageway. So they're making you aware of the speed limit of the road. Check my mirror, signal left. I can see the silver car waiting for me. I'll thank him and look where I've positioned. I'm making effective observations. Nobody is on this road, as in the lane that I'm traveling into. So now I'm going to take the first exit left at this roundabout. So as I'm approaching, I'm doing 30 miles an hour. The sign on my left is showing me the busy road. The busy is the ring road, the thick lines. The thin lines are telling me it's a slightly less busier road. So I'm checking my mirrors here. I'm now going to signal left. I'm staying close to the left. I'm making sure I'm not close to this line. I'm now looking to the right. I'm looking for my entry point. I can see the Audi is blocking the road. Checking in my left arm. There's nobody coming. There's no bus this time. I'm now going to carry on. So you'll see there, I did my mirror signal position speed. I looked, assessed, decided and acted upon that. As you're coming back to the test centre, so depending on which route you take, 
Sometimes they will make you do a U-turn on that roundabout, which is what I'm about to do next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach the roundabout again and do a U-turn on Horsworth roundabout and come back around onto this road. So sometimes what some instructors will do, they will park up here on your driving test, assuming you will not come into contact with that road. You will do. So what they'll do, they'll make you come back onto that. You'll end up doing a U-turn and coming back onto this road. Looking at my blind spot, there's nobody in the pavement. I'm now going to follow the road ahead. So let's say, for example, you're not very good with some aspects of driving and you're weak and you don't park on this side. So what you'll do sometimes on your driving test, what people assume is if you park on this side of the road, that you will not be doing, you will not be going up into uh, Horsforth, you will not go into Cookridge. You will do. They will make you do a U-turn on the roundabout. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a U-turn on the roundabout and come back along this road. So I've checked my mirrors, blind spot check, I've indicated I'm moving off. I'm now following the road ahead. As I'm following the road ahead, your driving examiner will say to you, at the roundabout, take the fourth exit, come back round on this roundabout. Now the reason why he'll say that to you is your test route is in the opposite direction. So now as I'm approaching the roundabout, I'm going to start my routine. So once I go past this road on the right, I check my mirrors, signal right, I stay very close to my lane. Now you can see the road bending, so look at where I've positioned. I'm very close to the island. I'm now looking to my right. Today it's not too busy. So as I come onto the roundabout, I stay very close to the inner circle. So I'm gently tracking the road round. So that's two exits done. Now this is my third, so I check my mirror signal left and you'll see the car moving over to the left. So what I did, I guided the car off the roundabout. So I tracked the car on, so I'd, I stayed onto the roundabout. I then stayed off the roundabout after my third exit. And it's as simple as that when you're traveling along this road, when you're driving here, when you're trying to make sure that you're following your road. So as you're going along this road, you're then faced with what we call obstructions. And the obstructions that actually learn a car's parked on the right and uh, stationary vehicles parked on the left. So you're looking for a gap. Now on your driving test, if you force your car through, you will fail your driving test. So we're now looking at the Asda van. It's coming down the road. Now, at the moment, it's safe. I'm going to go through. I've adjusted my speed. I'm doing 23. It's a 30 road. And you can see that the speed I'm traveling at is appropriate for where I am. So now I'll increase. I'm doing 28. I'm going to go back to Horsworth Roundabout, as in Low Lane Roundabout. I'm then going to take the second exit. I'm going to go ahead. So now I check my mirrors, I'm going to signal left, I'm watching this car doing something strange, left mirror check, and she's pulling off, I'm going into this road. Now on your driving test, you'll be asked to either turn left here, and then follow the road to the left, or turn right. Now if I'm turning right here, for the sake of argument, I've already looked at the blue car parked on the right, where the bin is, at the top of the road. Now you can see that telegraph post at the top, that's where the end of the road is, where the willow tree is, right at the top. You will then be asked to turn left at the end of the road. Now, at the end of this road, it's a closed junction. So you need to make sure that where you stop is appropriate. So I'm checking my mirrors. I'm signalling left. I'm going to angle my car to the left here, but I'm going to pause. The reason why I paused, in a second, you'll see a blue car go past us. That's why. So now as I'm coming out onto this road, there's nobody on my right, but when I'm looking to the left, I'm looking past 
the red car parked on the left. The speed limit here is 20. So my speed is 19 at the moment. Doing 18. Now here, when you are here, so I'm going to stop for a second and just explain something to you. So when you are travelling along this road, and you may have this on one of your test routes, you must find a place that you can park your car as in stop to let another car go past. So it's like what we call your hold back position. It's something you must see here. Your hold pack, hold pack, hold back position, sorry, is this. So you're halfway behind the car on the left and you're half poking out. That way you can do your effective observation to move off when you need to. And you can see this car here. I'm looking in my mirrors. There's nowhere for me to stop. So I'll gently continue, but I'll make sure that this driver sees me as well. Because if she cannot see me, then she's not able to react. Now, the obstructions were on her side, but if she was committed, she would expect to go before you. So now at this crossroad, I'm going to go ahead. So this gets a little difficult when I'm going through here because there's a learner car here. She's coming through. So I'm going to stop here. This learner car is going to come through before I do. You see how she clenched the teeth there? That means she's very uncomfortable doing right turns. So what she should have done was gone slightly further forward, and then turned him. So now I'm looking, I'm going to go ahead at this junction and then turn left at the end of the road, which is a dual carriageway. So I'm continuously looking both ways and making sure there's nobody in front of me turning out. So now we can see the silver car on the right and there's no space for me to go through. So I'm reducing my speed, ideally not stopping. So I'm doing 10 miles an hour here. The speed limit is 20. And now that they've both gone past me, I'm looking in my right door mirror and moving out. Now, again, I'm looking for another car that potentially could pull out that isn't one at the moment. Or I'm looking for another car that might push his car through. Now, the speed limit is 20. I am doing 20 miles an hour. So I've gone up to the maximum because I can see it's safe to do so. Looking in my mirrors as I'm moving over to the left. Now, there doesn't seem to be a problem here. On your driving test, they will say to you, take the next road on the left. Now, the next road on the left is behind the white van. Now, he's signalling, or oh, his hazard lights are on. We're not too sure at the moment. His hazard lights are on, so he's probably doing a delivery, or he's broke down. So now I check my mirrors, I signal left. I start moving to the left into the lane that I want to go into. I'm looking to my right, it's an open junction. I can assess whether I need to stop or not. And look at where I'm stopping in the left hand corner a meter away from the curb because I need to stop. So I'm looking over my shoulder, literally to my blind spot. I can see a van, but there's a great distance between the van and this car. So I'm now gonna accelerate to meet the conditions that I'm in. So here, the speed limit is 40. I'm now doing 35, 38, 40. I've looked in all my mirrors and it looks safe. I'm going to continue at this speed. I've decided it's appropriate. So this is like one of the main roundabouts on your driving test. I'm going to go through a couple of more roundabouts in this area. I've got a little bit of time. I've got about 15 minutes. And I just want to make sure you understand how these roundabouts work. So the speed limit is 40, and I'm doing 34 at the moment. Now this car stops slightly further back. He needs to stop a little further forward at the line so he can make effective observation. That learner car there. So now at the roundabout, like we agreed, I'm going to go ahead. This is something that you will be doing on your driving test at this roundabout. So I've checked my mirrors. I've got closer to the left. I'm reducing my speed and I only need to signal when I'm exiting the roundabout because I'm going ahead. So I'm going to signal after exit number one, the point that you drive into. So immediately after that, I'm going to signal. So if you look at how the road curves, I'm going to follow the curve. I'm going to be on the outer edge of the roundabout. Now there's nobody on my right and you'll see that I kept my car to the left, that other car didn't. And you're now looking in my mirrors to exit the roundabout. So the speed limit is 40. 
So I'm now going to increase my speed up to 40 miles an hour. I'm now doing 40. And in terms of driving a car on a driving test in Hawksworth, this is what you need to do. You need to make sure that you understand what side of the roundabout you need to be on. It's quite simple, really. When you approach that roundabout from your test centre, the busy road is the one that goes from the left to the right or from the right to, to the left. So your nine o'clock to your three o'clock, that is an artery road. So that is your ring road. That's very, very busy. Also, when you're going back to your driving uh, test centre, when you're turning right, that's a difficult turn to make. The reason why it's difficult, people on your right are quickly going across because it's a ring road and they know that the window of opportunity is quite small. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to approach Lawnswood Roundabout. I'm going to do a right turn at Lawnswood Roundabout. Now this roundabout, you will do a full U-turn on the roundabout on your driving test on one particular driving test route. So now I'm in lane and it doesn't matter what lane you're in as long as you're traveling at an appropriate speed. So the speed limit here is 40 miles an hour. So if you're traveling at, let's say 30 miles an hour and the road is completely empty, that's unreasonable. You should be in the lane on the left. But if you're doing 40 miles an hour in this lane, completely fine. As long as you're not holding traffic back and if there's nobody behind you and there's nobody in the lane on the left, I suggest you move into the lane on the left. So you're on your driving test, you follow the road up. Now I'm looking at these cars accumulating on the right. Now if this BMW signaled right, I'd be careful because I'd end up blocking the road or he'd block the road. So now I'm going to turn right at the roundabout. I'm going to take the fourth exit. So let's say for the sake of argument, I was in this lane. When the sign comes up, that's when your sat nav is going to tell you that you need to do a fourth exit. So I'm looking in my mirrors, constantly looking in the mirror on my right. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do the lane change. I check my mirror, signal right, blind spot check, move across. Now if you cannot do that in that time, do it earlier. So now I'm going to turn right at this roundabout. I check my inside mirror, my right door mirror, I signal right. I'm looking to my right at people from town or people from Adelaide. You can see that lorry with the bales of hay on it. Now, on my right, there is nobody coming towards me. That's one exit done. And you can now I'm going to slow down because it's a large vehicle. And now I'm going past exit number three. I check my mirrors, signal left, come into the left lane. And I'm going to come off the roundabout. And it's as simple as that if you've practiced it enough. Now I'm going to take the next road on the left. So check my mirrors, signal left. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to approach the roundabout from this side. So I'm going to approach it from town and I'm going to go ahead. Or I can do a right turn. Either one is used on your driving test. So I'm going to check my mirrors here. Signal left. Because I'm turning left at the end of this road. Cancel my signal. Now signal again because there was a, a driveway. Or an entrance into the school. And you'll see that I signaled and I cancelled my signal. I immediately reapplied. Okay, so. A quick update to you guys. That I've done a couple of driving tests in this area. The first thing. The road layout has changed. The road layout changed approximately four weeks ago. The road layout changed because A, cyclists, B, the junction was quite dangerous. So you'll be coming along this road on your driving test. You will then be asked to do a park up on the right here. So you check your mirrors, signal right, blind spot check, move across. The car in front of you is a great distance away. You come to a stop here. Now, the reason why I've stopped here is I'm going to discuss a couple of points with you. So here is where you're going to stop, either on the left or on the right. If you're on your right, you reverse bay, you're doing your parking up on the right, reversing two spaces. If you park on the left, you are then doing your second part if you're, uh, of your independent drive. So what's going to happen now, you're going to... 
Uh, it's me. So, you know, it's my YouTube channel and my YouTube. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to the end of the road. And then your sat nav will say to you, at the end of the road, turn left. Then turn right. So it's giving you two instructions, which sounds complicated. And it's not really. It's quite easy, to be completely honest. So what's going to happen is you're going to turn left at the end of this road. Then at the roundabout, you're going to take the third exit. You're going to head towards Adol. So I'm going to finish this manoeuvre off by reversing two spaces and stand reasonably close to the curb, like I'm doing. I'm now going to stop. I'm now going to move off. I'm looking into my blind spot. You can hear me uh, moving my head. There's nothing there. I'm going to go down this road. Now, previously, there were two lanes at the end of this road. Now there isn't. So now there's just one lane. So as we're going to the end of the road, you can see that 30 sign, can't you? That means you're in a 20 zone. So now as I'm going to the end of the road, a red bit on the floor, that's the manage of a cycle lane. So here I've positioned to the left. So it's easier now. You've actually just got one physical lane, whereas previously you had two lanes. So I'm looking almost into my blind spot because there's a lane, a cycle lane that runs across here. There's nobody here. And it's a solid white line. But what I've done, I've moved my car to the right. On the floor, you can see a line. That line has been torched off, so it doesn't apply. Your two lanes come in now where the blue bus is. But I'm already on the right, so I'm already pre-positioned for a right turn at the traffic, at the roundabout. Now, let's say, for example, you were going to go ahead. You'd straddle the line or you'd fit into your lane, whatever works. I'm going to turn right at this roundabout. So check my mirrors. I'm now going to signal right. You can hear my signal on in the background. So now I'm looking to my right and I'm looking at anyone from my right that are coming into this road. We can see Lena cars are waiting there. I've got my signal on, so I'm going to signal left after my second exit. You must keep your, and that's somebody on their driving test, that's going ahead at this roundabout. So I must keep my right signal on, on approach, maintain the signal until I'm exiting to the roundabout. So now I check my mirror, signal left, and I come into this left lane. Cancel my signal. Checking my mirrors, it's safe. Now I know the speed limit has changed. So the speed limit now is 70. So I'm going to increase my speed. As I'm increasing my speed, I'm looking at the traffic lights ahead of me. It's warning me. So if the first red car is braking, and he is, it means the lights may be red. The lorry is braking, so the lights are red. So I've adjusted my speed. So I'm now going to turn left at the traffic lights to follow the sign for Adol. So check my mirrors, signal left. I start positioning to the left. Now Adol is on my left. Now we know because we're here all the time, so we know which way this road works. So now looking in my left armor again, looking in my left armor again, and now I'm going to come into the lane on the left. Here's a sign for adult that I'll refer into. Now I'm going to take the next road on the left again. I'm looking, there's nobody coming into this junction. Now when you're turning left here, come into your lane, but avoid going over the line. So I'm now looking up the road as much as I can. I can see the two cones on the right as I'm going in. Them cones there. So the cones on the floor, I was watching through my left passenger door glass as I was turning in. The sign on my right, as you can see there, is informing me 
of a staggered junction. The arrow at the top is showing me which way I'm going. So I'm going upwards. And you can see the two roads leading onto the big road. So they're very small roads as in Boddington Way. It's leading onto this road and that's what that sign's telling you. Now we've stopped here because the road is actually A, it's narrow. B, it's uh, a, a built up area. And because it's a quiet area, you'll find it's very difficult driving here fast. The speed limit, although it's 30, it's difficult to travel at 30 usually on this road. And the reason why there's a lot of roadworks here, A, because of the gas works, they're building a lot of houses in this area. This road currently is 30. However, driving at 30, most of the time, it's almost impossible. You can feel the camera shaking, the road is quite rough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to that roundabout and I'm going to show you how you do your thing your third exit and that will take me back down towards the horse of test center now if you're doing the 810 test in the morning you will come across the um, check my mirrors and signal left this junction here i'll do i'll do a video on this this is a staggered junction it's where most pupils fail their test it's a dumb fail but it is what it is it's something that you don't realize now the speed limit on this road is 20 despite what you feel so at the end of this road, we're going to turn left. So I'm checking my mirrors. I'm signaling left. Now you'll see this this petrol station on the left. Usually people sneak through the petrol station and go onto the main road. So when you turn left and start making progress, you need to be careful that they don't fly onto the road. So here we're turning left. And this, you've got to be careful of vehicles turning into this road in from the middle. So now I'm looking. It looks safe. I'm going to come onto this road. Now you can see the speed limit changing into 40. So increase your speed. So now I'm traveling at 38 miles an hour, 39 miles an hour. So now I'm going to approach the roundabout and I'm going to turn right. I'm going to head towards Bradford, then towards Horsford. So as I'm following the road down, this car's going a little slow. So I check my mirror, signal right, blind spot check, move across. I want to be doing around 40 miles an hour. The car on my left is on a driving test. So I'm assuming that this car is also on their test. And it is. So I'm doing 40 miles an hour. I'm coming down this road. Check my mirrors, signal left, come back into the lane on the left. So them two cars were on their driving test. I'm doing 40 miles an hour and they are almost... 50 car spaces behind me now. They're going too slow. We can see the speed limit sign there. So now at the roundabout, I'm going to turn right. They are going to follow us. So I check my mirrors, signal right, blind spot check, I move across. I also want you, now I've cancelled my signal. I also want you to understand how to position your car. So I check my mirrors, signal right. I am assuming the white car in front of us is also on a driving test. And you'll look at my position. My position is tight. I am not close to the divide line on the left, nor am I too close to the pavement. Now, hopefully, well, they're actually pretty lucky um, whether they were going to do it right or wrong. Um, I'm behind them. I'm in front of them, sorry. So they will be doing it perfect. So now I'm turning right at this roundabout. I maintain a right signal on approach. And then I signal left to exit after the second exit. I check my mirrors, signal right when I need to, which I've done. Now check my mirrors, signal left, and I move across here. I've come in, cancelled my signal, I'm making progress. And that's good, buddy. That's all you need to be doing. So let's say for the for sake, of uh, sake of argument, I want to do a lane change. Check my mirrors, signal right, blind spot check, and move across. And that's another learner car turning left on the road I taught you, uh, I discussed earlier. So I'm in lane two, that learner car's in lane one. Doesn't matter what lane you're in, travel at an appropriate speed. I'm traveling at 39 miles an hour. 
which is very reasonable. Now I'm doing 40. Now he's not on his driving test. So now I'm looking at when I'm going to merge with the cars on the left. So I'm following the road down. I'm looking at this car braking in front of me. So I'm going to merge behind this learner car. So I'll signal left. Looking in my left arm at a left blind spot. I'm now going to come in. So I'm looking at the red car in lane two, that's turning right. I'm now going to go into lane two on the right in a second. I check my mirrors, signal right, blind spot check, move across. I'm doing 40 miles an hour. So I'm now going to merge with this red car on the left. So I check my mirrors, signal left, I'm maintaining my lane. Looking in my left armor again, cancel my signal, I've merged. So we've come together into lane one. I'm now going to turn right at the roundabout again. This is the final one I'm doing, then I need to get off to one of my lessons. So now, looking in my mirrors, I'm not signaling yet. He's signaling too early, the car behind me. I'm in my lane. Now I check my mirrors, I signal right. Now you can see the car in front of me, he's positioned incorrectly. It's too close to the divide line, and that's what failed your driving test. I'm looking at the cyclist on my right. I'm intentionally stopping to let the gent through. So now I'm coming onto the roundabout because it's clear. I'm keeping as close as I can to the round circle, to the inner circle. So now check my mirrors, signal left. Looking into my mirrors, effective observation, it's safe. And now I'm going to follow the road ahead. Usually you turn left where that learner car has gone. I'm assuming that car's on his driving test. If he is, it's hit and miss where he's passed. So now as I'm going around the corner, I'm checking to see if it's safe. And it is. So now your examiner is going to ask you to find a place to park on the left. Usually they will tell you where to park. You could park behind this car here on the left. Completely safe to park here. You could park here, but it's a bit more difficult. You could park after the second black car on the left. Check your mirrors, signal left. Bring your car in here and gently come to a stop behind this car. You'd come to a stop, into park, handbrake on, and that would be your test finished. Well, I hope this roundabout kind of lesson has helped you. Uh, it has. Leave me a comment. Uh, if it doesn't, tell me what, you, what I'm missing. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I will possibly see you very soon. Thank you.